Hello everyone, this is Austin from Raw Bliss. Um, I just got back from another crazy bike ride. I was actually talking to my friend, I think I mentioned it in my last video. Um, he works out every day at the beach in the morning. And I joined him today and he helped me with some negative pull-ups, negative chin-ups, and uh, some incline push-ups. So yeah, that was pretty cool. Uh, pushed myself a little bit today again and um, went really hard on the bike. Did some, uh, some intense bike ride rather than just like meditative, slow bike ride. So feeling really good. Got a good sweat going and uh, had a couple coconuts. It's crazy how like I start to sweat like after I drink the coconut. So like clearly it's very important to hydrate. Um, yeah, I was talking to him about my diet, and he was really interested about the only fruit thing, and um, yeah, so I was showing him like Grant, uh, my friend Grant, how he's only eating fruit, and he's just like pretty big, muscular guy, but uh, yeah, that's how I'm starting my day. Um, it's like eight, what, what time is it? about 8 30 and yeah the power is out in my apartment so the elevator wasn't working I had to walk you know to the third floor um, which is cool so I'm just gonna chill out here maybe lay under the sun some more and uh, yeah enjoy my day look at this durian I got actually tastes like birthday cake. It's like frosting consistency. It's been a little while since I've had a durian like this. Having some of these juicy persimmons for breakfast. They are really good. I found some tamarind. This is a really good fruit. And this is the sour variety. I bought this. They were looking at me kind of funny, like, are you sure you want that? It's like, taste it first. You know, they they didn't speak English, but they like gestured to me like, taste. I'm like, okay. It's like super sour. They were probably saying, it's not sweet, it's not sweet. Because Vietnamese people, they only like sweet food. Super sour. It's like eating sour gummy worms. That's what it reminds me of. Mm. Ollie would love this. Mm. I haven't had sour fruits in a while, actually. I think it's important to have the full spectrum. Sour, bitter, sweet. Salty, it's important. The different meridians in the body and different organs they target. There's little bugs on these too, so they might be organic. Here's a little seed. Tamarind's really good for you, really good stuff. It, hey, it was another uh, really good day. Um, actually did another workout today. Today we did legs. So we did like squats and lunges. Um, yeah, I'm actually my arms were sore from yesterday uh, doing the negative pull-ups and chin-ups and he said they would be and I was like, really? He was like, yeah. So each day does a different muscle group. Uh, I think tomorrow is push-ups. Yeah, I know, you guys. You guys already know. I can't do a push-up yet, but I'm gonna get there. One of the guys there, he's like 16. He's pre he's in pretty good shape. And he said like three months ago he couldn't do a push-up either. And now he can do seven. I was like, 
okay, you know, three months I'll be there. We'll see. So yeah, um, today I pretty much just had a tamarind and persimmons, which is like a dollar, and then like a couple coconuts and uh, 16 ounces of sugarcane juice, sugarcane orange juice. He mixes it with orange, which is quite nice. Um, so yeah, it's only like two or three dollars today for food, which is nice. Um, that's just how it ended up to be. I wasn't like planning on budgeting or anything, but it's cheap. People are always like, oh, fruit diet's so expensive. I was, I was talking to the guy about it and he's like, he's like, meat is much less expensive. I was like, really? I don't know about that. I mean, if you're eating like, you know, we live by the ocean, obviously. And if you're eating uh, local seafood that's caught right by the ocean, that's one thing. But if you're eating like imported beef, or pork or something like that you know it's gonna be a lot more expensive and uh yeah i had some really good conversations he's also on nofap which is amazing i was like what you know about nofap he's like yeah like a couple months in now and it's like you know i told him about my story and it's like you know five years now um so yeah it's really cool meeting up with like-minded individuals they don't smoke they don't do drugs they don't drink and it's like you know it's a rare thing and you know your vibe attracts your tribe so um that's I'm just i'm just happy to have um you know some people like that that i can talk to stuff and they can relate to like health things you know because they they're all like aspiring to be their greatest versions and it's really cool. So yeah, uh, it's been beautiful this past week. Uh, it hasn't rained at all, so very happy about that. Um, I might end the vlog here, but I think I'll I think I'll keep it rolling for tomorrow. So this is end of day two. See you guys tomorrow. Peace and love. Good morning, everyone. Um, it's about what time is it? What time is it? Ten o'clock. Um, wow, it's been a really good day so far. I uh, woke up and called my mom. We had a video chat and everything's good over there. Um, except for the city of Seattle, which she tries to stay out of. It's a bit um, overrun by homeless people and like all, a lot of businesses are shut down, which is interesting. Um, but you know, it is what it is. So yeah, I did my bike ride this morning, met up with my friends, and today they did push-ups. He did like 300 push-ups. Um, like not all at once, you know, like like three sets or whatever, three or four sets. Um, but I just did like uh, two sets, or no, I did a two-minute plank. I did two two-minute planks, and then I did like uh, a couple sets of 30 and 40 uh, incline push-ups because I still can't do a push-up, so that's what he recommended. And he helped me with my form and stuff, and then, you know, did my yoga, did my bike ride, laid in the sun. So it's been a really good day. I'm already broken a sweat. Usually I don't break a sweat um, this early in the morning because the sun's not that intense, but I definitely did today, and... I feel like Asians can just sweat easier because they don't have hair on their body. I don't know. Those guys just sweat so easy, but maybe it's because they, um, you know, they do that every day. They just work themselves to that point. Uh, so anyways, that's what's going on with me. Um, I had some, a small little orange juice, fresh pressed orange juice. And a coconut that tasted like cinnamon sugar, like the milk at the bottom of the cinnamon toast crunch bowl. My favorite cereal growing up. Um, so yeah, that's like my favorite flavored coconut. So good. So I just sat there. Um, the kids are back from summer school, summer vacation. So I saw all the kids like leaving school. I guess they get out of school at 10 o'clock already. Like maybe they go there at six. I don't know, but um, yeah, I saw like all these kids leaving school. It's really fun to watch their little 
their white shirts and their red little tie or whatever. Um, yeah. The roof of my mouth still kind of hurts from that tamarind yesterday. I went a little bit crazy. Um, yeah, I might, I might get some more today. I don't know. I saw this guy like driving around with the truck or the little little cart of tamarind, but it's not the sour one. It's the sweet one. So I might try that. But yesterday there were so many bugs in them, um, which is cool because it's organic. But, um, you know, I don't want to eat any bugs. Um, not those bugs because they're like, they had like tiny little pinchers. They look scary. <laughs> so yeah, that's how I'm starting my day. Um, it's gonna relax for a little bit after that <sighs> intense, intense workout. So um, yeah, you know, it's intense for me. But um, I touched my toe today, like when I when I was stretching. Like usually, usually I can't touch my toe, but I've been stretching and doing my leg <laughs> doing my stretches for the past couple of weeks it's been like 14 days now and like no off days no rest days it's been amazing so it's cool how he does this like you know targets different muscle groups each day so that you're resting one muscle group while you're training another and i really like that and you know he focuses on high reps rather than um you know, pushing yourself too far with um, something that's uh, not reasonable for where you're at. So, you know, he's very open with that. And this this one guy that was there, he, like, trained in Singapore. He, he studied abroad in Australia. And, um, but he trained in Singapore to read people's, like, fingerprints and, like, how it relates to your personality. And he told me, um, you know, take everything with a grain of salt, of course. But he told me, like... Um, that I had, uh, you know, I was very introverted, but I was an introvert that was, um, you know, someone who is comfortable with being alone rather than someone who's like depressed all the time and stuff like that. And uh, which is which is true. He said um, that during the first 16 years of my life is when I was like learning the most and you know, like absorbing information and stuff. And then after that is when I start focusing and like gaining, uh, you know, experience in the fields that I was learning while my first 16 years. I thought that was interesting because um, I always felt like very childlike, um, you know, <laughs> pre-16. So, yeah, that was that was pretty cool. And it fa I found it to be very accurate. He said like one of my fingers is like showed me. He's like, you're like water. I was like, oh, shit. Well, I'm a water sign, so that makes sense. Um, but yeah, it was really cool. It's it's cool talking to those guys. Um, there's another 16-year-old guy I met there. He's His name's Smiley. His English name's Smiley. He was always smiling. Um, just like playing some dubstep. He was like, he was going hard with the dubstep. And they went crazy on the push-ups man like a skinny this skinny 16 year old guy man and he was pumping out like 100 push-ups you know like it was it was nothing so it's pretty inspiring to see um you know hanging around those guys it's gonna give me some good uh it's just good vibes always it's good vibes but anyways um i think i'm gonna cut off this video here and then i'll start another video for the next three days maybe i'm kind of liking this uh let me know down in the comments below if you guys like this um kind of format rather than uh the daily videos you know having one video that's multiple days and just me kind of summarizing how the day went if it was interesting um, yeah, let me know what you think down in the comments. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed and subscribe for more. I'm really having a good day. I hope you guys are having a good day as well. I'm really learning to um, not stimulate myself so much and just surrender to peace. Just observe things as they are. 
and uh, yeah, it's too easy to get caught up in all the hoopla that's going on in the world. So um, yeah, highly recommend getting outside your comfort zone, putting the phone down. We're so programmed. We can't even like lay down for five minutes without like checking our phones. Like, oh my God, what if I got a, what if I got a like? Oh, let me see what Jimmy's up to. You know, it's, um, we really have to deprogram ourselves, really, because uh, especially with my, our generation, we're very programmed with the technology and we don't realize how it affects us on a subconscious level. And most of our actions are, you know, driven by our subconscious, not by our conscious mind rather than by our subconscious. So we have to, we have to reprogram our minds in order to, um, you know, unplug essentially. So thank you guys again. Uh, Peace and love.